the aircraft carrier is commonly referred to as a city at sea. With between 5,000 and 6,000 people relaxing, working, eating, and sleeping on board for months. A staggering number of people need to be fed three times a day, which results in a staggering amount of food that needs to be consumed. The aircraft carrier is not only a combat platform, but also a massive enterprise that requires meticulous organization. Cooking for every sailor and crew member on the USS Enterprise requires approximately 17,300 meals each day to be prepared. The sailors must be properly supplied. Not only military weapons, but the provision of food will play a critical role in determining the overall success of a war. How does the U.S. Navy keep its warships supplied at sea? The warships of the United States Navy are constantly deployed in open water, making resupply operations an arduous and potentially hazardous endeavor. Underway replenishment is one strategy that can be used. This requires the ship to match the speed of the supply vessel while directing it into place. A hotline is transmitted whenever the two ships are traveling on a parallel path to one another. After that, line handlers are responsible for bringing in the significantly heavier messenger line. When everything is connected, pallets are moved from the top side of one structure to the other. Cargo weighing thousands of pounds, including fuel, food, mail, and supplies, is moved throughout the transfer. While some sailors watch for potential dangers, others keep an eye out for unexpected waves. Vertical replenishment is another way that can be used. A cargo hook is used to link the helicopters to one another. They make several trips, each time dropping down some cargo. The procedure can take some time to complete. How are food items stored? On a lower deck, the transporter has both dry and cool storage spaces, stocked with many of the same kinds of goods found in a typical retail supermarket. The Navy does its best to pander to the likes and the preferences of the American service members, whose appetites and inclinations were similar to those of their peers back home. The ships adhere to some extent to a standard meal, eating the same or very similar dishes on the same day, regardless of where they were deployed. The workers in charge of providing supplies make every effort to stock their shelves once a week. They do this by utilizing contracts already in place with big wholesalers, and they add food delivered to the ship whenever it was near a port. On the other hand, there are times when the ship may be too far out to sea. When this event occurs, fresh items begin to disappear and are replaced by canned or dried alternatives. Food Preparation on Board the Aircraft Carrier The galley on an aircraft carrier appears to be an enormous version of a restaurant kitchen when bustling with activity. Meat is sliced by employees wearing paper helmets and uniforms who tend to scorch barbecues when sticking their gloved hands into gooey concoctions. They quickly move around the enormous mixers and retrieve the newly baked foods from the ovens, so much is done there. The cooks, who are also known as culinary specialists, are tasked with providing food for around 5,500 passengers and crew members aboard the USS Enterprise. To maintain morale and energy levels during a military operation, it's essential to make sure that the crews are well nourished. Sailors work longer hours with fewer breaks. Even though this culinary staff isn't ones in charge of the fleet, nobody on the carrier would have anything to eat without them. And an army that isn't well fed won't do well in battle. That is why so much attention and logistics are concerned with feeding the onboard soldiers and sailors. Cooking for every sailor and crew member on the USS Enterprise requires approximately 17,300 meals each day to be prepared. That appears like some kind of culinary miracle, even taking into account that the contributions of all 114 sailors. According to those in charge of this massive undertaking, organization, the ability to juggle multiple tasks and working well with others are essential. Because of the deployment, they are required to work together as a unit, and they're extremely dependent on one another. There are several kitchens spread out all over the ship. There is a potential for the crew on board to consume 1,600 pounds of chicken, 160 gallons of milk, 30 cases of cereal, 350 pounds of lettuce in a single day. 
everything is produced in enormous quantities. Because the adaptability is so important, cooks have to continually prepare food, execute various activities, and learn new skills to take on additional responsibilities. Between $45,000 and $65,000 is spent a day on food. That amounts to $1.8 million every single month. All galleys on the carrier must be sufficiently provisioned at all times. After every 7 to 10 days, a supply ship will bring between 400,000 and 1 million pounds of food. Where there is a need for delivery variation, it's not uncommon for regional foods to be included, such as feta cheese from Greece. When sailors are stationed at sea and their birthday falls within a given calendar month, they're given a celebratory lunch that features prime rib or lobster main course, complete with a tablecloth, wine glasses, and pleasant background music. Because the sailors' morale is directly related to the food they consume, the ship's cooks work hard to ensure that the large amount of food they prepare is delicious. They prepare food in large quantities and serve it at practically all hours of the day. For example, mashed potatoes come out of vats the size of kettle drums, while hamburgers are cooked on grills that can accommodate several dozen at once. 1,500 pounds of meat are required on the beef night, and on chicken night, 1,200 pounds of chicken are needed. When the galleys finally get around to serving beer, it comes in an aircraft engine containers that have been sliced in half and are filled with ice. To work off the food, there are gyms perched in the hangar bay. One for weights, another for runners on treadmills, gives them the name gerbil gyms. To ensure that the sailors always have the appropriate haircut, a barber shop with eight chairs performs 25,000 haircuts each year. Life aboard an aircraft carrier is unquestionably challenging and taxing, but it can also be exhilarating, particularly for the men and women who are stationed up on the flight deck, where they're responsible for landing planes on a very limited runway and piloting the planes themselves. Whether the experience is positive or negative, there's no other place on the planet quite like it. That'll be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Let us know what you think of this topic in the comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next one. Bye for now.